Okay, y'all. This has been uh, this has been one of those weeks. So this is uh, this is where we're at. I am uh, clearly just too cool for school right now. Actually, I uh, I have pink eye, so um, this is all for your benefit. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You want a glimpse? It uh, it ain't pretty. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the thing is, it's like I hope I can kind of see my screen. Um, how do you get pink eye? I assume I got it from the gym, probably. I don't know. What a absolute pain. It just totally sucks. It's uh, it's hard to wear the glasses that I need to wear just because of some of the symptoms from it. Um, and so, like, this is not easy to see the screen. But uh, I also know, like, you know, it's like watching a video where somebody's got a piece of food stuck in their teeth or something like that. Like, nobody's going to want to look at this while I'm doing this. So I'm just going to pretend I'm, uh, I don't know cool or something and this is what we're doing here so hey how are we doing we're 10 weeks out thank you for joining me here darren star full-time coach bodybuilder etc um five star physique.com also uh webmaster of the brand new five star digital.com which goes live in the next day or two you can actually go to that url right now i will not link it in the description because it's not quite ready for prime time but if you go to five star digital right now you can see there are some online courses coming. So I've been working hard on those in addition to my usual load of coaching clients, which keeps me very busy. Um, the course stuff has been like a weekend project for some time now. So anyway, um, I am 10 weeks out from Battle of the River, Chattanooga, Tennessee, June 8th, 2024. So let's talk about the week that was. I'm going to shake up the order of things here, um, and we're going to start with what I consider to be the most important things first. So how do you things feel? Well, not great. <laughs> um, in addition to the pink eye, there's some congestion that I think is related to that. Um, it's just really unpleasant. So this really just came about like Saturday. Today is, I'm recording this on Monday. This video will go up on Tuesday. So uh, it, uh, it really became objectionable really Sunday. I started to feel it a little bit on Saturday. And yesterday was fairly miserable, and uh, today is uh, worse. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, yesterday was a rest day. Today is a forced rest day just because this is super contagious. I'm not going to the gym with it. Um, tomorrow may be as well. I'm not sure. I'm waiting to hear back from my doctor on exactly when he would recommend that I go back in. So um, it's a pain. It sucks. But it's kind of like, you know, when you're sick with whatever it is, Stay out of the gym and don't get other people sick with whatever crap you have. It's just rude. It's like, I'm in prep. Nobody cares if you're in prep. Stay out of the damn gym. So do I want to be? No, today was supposed to be a high carb day, a leg day, and instead it's a low carb day, which sucks. So how do I feel? I'm mad. I'm mad as hell. <laughs> I'm not happy. It blows, but whatever. Um, I'm taking the... Taking the um, silver lining here and saying, well, it's some time I get back today so I can focus on doing this earlier. Um, Mondays are always a busy day since it's a rest day. Now I have more time to get the stuff done. So all good. Um, appetite has been ravenous. Um, energy has been tanked. Um, like this is one of those weeks where it's like, okay, yeah, this kind of sucks a little bit, even though nothing really changed last week. I adjusted the training split. We talked about that last week. Didn't make any macro adjustments. Same thing. It's been for a few weeks now. Um, but it went from being like, okay, okay. to like, oh, okay. I feel this to like, man, this blows. This is not fun. Um, so, uh, yeah, energy definitely was tanking towards the end of the week. Appetite just coming up and up. Like, you know, I can handle it. It's fine. It's just more present and it's becoming a lot. It's, it's requiring a lot more mental energy to just say, no, chill out. You're fine. You're fine. Um, as opposed to like those thoughts, not even really creeping into my head at all. So just requiring a little bit of, of discipline now, whereas before it didn't really require much at all. That's the biggest change, but I was a little concerned about energy. I was a little concerned about workout performance. And so, um, what I ended up doing was on Friday, I took a refeed meal, um, which call it a cheat meal, a clean cheat, whatever. I mean, we went out and I had a barbecue chicken sandwich and some fries and some bread. It was nothing crazy or anything like that. Um, on previous preps, there is no way I would have done that for a cheat meal because it would have felt like a waste of a perfectly good cheat meal. Instead, it was like, great. Um, so I took my wife out for dinner. She had, what was wedge salad? And she had uh, some kind of wine, something. I had my thing in a Diet Coke, and it was great. Um, and I replaced um, 
my smallest meal of the day, which is meal four, which is a shake, it's just 250 calories. I replaced it with that, which I would say it was probably, you know, probably around 1200 calories in total. The sandwich was relatively clean. Um, the fries add up, the bread added up. It was probably 12, 1300 calories, something like that. So definitely about a thousand calorie bump. And then afterwards I was, I was fairly full. I'm like, okay, I still have one more meal coming. Do I make it the typical final meal of the day? Or do I scale back a little bit and have that shake that I skipped, in which case meal five is typically around 750 calories. So maybe I'm only over by 500 calories. So no, um, I had the full final meal instead. So I, I'm just like, fine, that's good. Um, because by the time it, it was time for that again, um, I was still, uh, I was hungry still again. <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna have the regular meal here. It's supposed to be a high carb day. We'll just make it a little bit higher than it would be otherwise with that extra meal thrown in about an extra thousand calories. And uh, lo and behold, it worked and it was fine. So um, we'll go over the numbers and I'll, I'll give you the whole breakdown on what that did for weigh-ins and stuff momentarily here. Um, sleep has been a little off. I attribute it to this more than anything else. Um, just, you know, uh, sleep Saturday going into Sunday. You know, I like to sleep in an hour, hour and a half on the weekends. Instead, I was up half an hour earlier than usual on Sunday morning. I was up at 4 a.m. on the computer doing stuff. So um, it was... <laughs> It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Took a couple naps this weekend. Definitely needed those. Don't feel like I got caught up. Still tired. Still off. Um, but I will be thrilled once this clears up, however long that takes. So how are things feeling? Not great. Um, but big picture, like aside from the, you know, acute stuff that will have a resolution fairly soon, it could definitely be worse. Okay, how do things look? Let's look at the video here. Just one video for this week. Um, I did not have a chance to take a posing video post-workout like I have the past few weeks. Um, I tried it. There was some guy jumping rope for 30 minutes in the posing room, and I didn't want to go and strip down in front of him, so I didn't. Um, and uh, what do we see? I don't know. Um, you tell me. Who wants to tell me if this is good or not? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> like I look at these photos and if uh, look at the video and if I'm watching it, I see every little thing that I don't like and I fixate on that. This is what I've talked about where it's just objectively, it's difficult to look at yourself objectively. Some people do not have the same problem with this that I do. It's very common to have this problem. I'm not special. Some people can kind of see past it better than others. I can't. I can do this for clients all day long. I do this for clients all day long, every day. It's easy when it's other people. When it's you, it's hard. You get in your own head and it's, uh, it sucks. It, it makes it, it you, you just lose all perspective. Um, you have no, like, I don't know, am I on track? Am I 15 pounds north of where I need to be right now? Like, I don't know. It feels like it could go either way. Um, I do see some glimpses of things here. Like, you know, there's some separation in the quads that are coming out. The back doesn't look as embarrassing as it has in the past, which I'm okay with. Um, on the front pose um, and the relaxed pose, I think the lats are starting to pop a little bit. So there are some good things I'm taking away from this. Um, the one thing that I'm really waiting to see happen is, do we get to that point where things are shrink wrapped enough to where the legs pop enough where they don't look as dramatically undersized versus the upper body? Um, because right now it just looks like they're getting completely overpowered by the upper body, which has always been my problem. Um, but I put a lot of work into the legs, so I would like to see that be less of a problem this time around than it has in the past. Um, legs are never going to be a strength for me. That's I'm even 47, you know. At this point, like, you're not going to see massive shifts in your physique, right? So, um, uh, I mean, I don't know. Anything could happen, I guess. But I'm not expecting it. I'm not expecting it. I'm not, not resigned to this being my future, but I'm also realistic about it at the same time. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's tough to say exactly what I'm looking at here. I don't know. It's like, I think it's okay. And I got to remind myself like 10 weeks or 70 days still, um, you know, in previous preps, I'd only been into this for six weeks right now. I've been in it for 12, which as we talked about before is kind of a double-edged sword. Like, yeah, I'm in a groove. I'm fine. I've been doing this, but also like I've been doing this for a long time. Like, am I going to get fatigued? Is this how I'm feeling right now? Is this a sign of, well, it's only going to get worse from here or is it a one-off just because of other things? Um, the refeed did help. We'll get to that when we look at the tracker here momentarily and I'll, I'll dig in on some details that, but um, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to say for sure. So I, I leave it to you. Like you tell me, <laughs> And, you know, feel free to pick it apart. You know, that's fine. That's, that's, what, that's what I need at this point. So uh, I don't think I'm all that. I really don't. I think if you've been watching this for long enough, you know that I am uh, I'm not too big on myself. 
Like, I, I like myself as a person, okay, but as a bodybuilder, like, I know where I sit, okay, and that's not at the top of the mountain, okay, and I'm comfortable with that. I don't want to stay where I am, but at the same time, it's like, you're not going to knock me down. Like, you're like, dude, your legs are small. You aren't lean enough. I'm like, I know. That's what I think, right? So, I agree. I agree. Thank you. So, anyway, curious to hear your thoughts. Okay, numbers for the week. Let's pull up the tracker here and take a look. So um, you can see like things are really kind of moving and shaking. I can't read this at all. I don't have my correct glasses on and I'm not gonna put them on for this. So can I just make this bigger? There we go. That's better. Um, so we started at 11 weeks out, 226.4. 10 weeks out, 223.6. And since then, with two low days in the books, well, today is the second low day, down two pounds from there. So like even you, you can see how I, I track the numbers from um, Monday to Sunday. And so right now already it's showing me there's a 2.7 pound drop as I lead into next week at nine weeks out. So, um, you know, do I trust that? No, there's going to be some fluctuation. There always is. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. It's clearly trending down. I mean, look, 13 weeks out, we were 230. Now we're, you know, within spitting distance a couple days from 220. It's pretty good. It's hard to complain about that. Um, let's take a look at, uh, let me pull up the calendar here. What was it? I can't remember what day was what at this point. The 29th. So this is where I clocked in at 223.4. Um, and you can see, like, did the morning cardio, had a leg workout with Sam, which I rated pretty highly. Um, 15 minutes post-workout cardio. I did not have 30 minutes in the tank. It was all I had to get that 15 minutes out of me. And again, I'm not killing myself here. Like, I was zombieing 100% on the elliptical there. So I talked with Sam, like, what do you think about a repeat? Is this a smart move? Is this dumb? What? And she's like, I think you'd do it. So, again, she's not my coach. She's consulting me, giving me some opinions. That's about it. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it some point this weekend. And then um, push comes to shove. I'm like, you know, I think it makes more sense to do it tonight. It's already a high day. Um, so it's, I don't want to do this on a low day and turn a low day into another high day. Um, and also I was thinking, well, if I do it tonight, I typically take Saturday off. So we're talking on Friday here. I typically take Saturday off. So I do a refeed going into a day off. What if I just... You chill out out there. Dogs. If they... Are you done? Hi. Stop it. As I was saying, Derby, chill out. <laughs> As I was saying... Uh, I didn't want to take an extra, uh, take an extra high day, turn a low day into a high day. So, um, I decided to take the workout that would have been on Sunday, move it to Saturday so that I could benefit from that refeed, have a good back and arms day, which you can see I did. It was a 10 out of 10 for that day. So mission accomplished and weight went up two tenths of a pound going into the next day and then dropped 1.2 the day after that and then dropped 0.8 the next day. So again, there's no cause and effect like, oh, I refeed and then I drop weight, but it's good to see like, well, I refeed and it didn't bump up a ton. I think the way that it dropped is just what it was going to do anyway. So um, that, that's kind of a myth that uh, when you refeed, you're going to drop weight um, shortly after that if you do it correctly. It's not really how the human body works. So unless we're talking about cortisol, in which case, sure, but there's better solutions for that at that point. So, um, so the numbers look good. Um, you know, we're on pace right now, as of right now, you know, 10 weeks out, 15 pounds to drop to hit the cap. It's a pound and a half a week. I'm clearly surpassing that. You can see, you know, the perspective poundage per week to drop um, next Saturday is already looking at 1.4 pounds per week going forward. So feel pretty good about this. Very confident we're going to hit the gap, the cap. Again, the question is, is hitting the cap good enough? My assumption is no. So I'm continuing to push and aiming for probably something more around like 204, 205, which I think, think, hope might be a little bit of a better look. Random shit I hear. This section has really been kind of a bust. Um, and maybe I'm just not deep enough in prep. Maybe all the good stuff happens in the five or six weeks. But so far, it's like, yeah, not much. I mean, I get I get compliments from people, which is great. And then I immediately, like, whenever somebody says anything nice, I'm like, well, yeah, but do they really know anything? <laughs> and and a lot of times, the, the case is no. Like, I'm talking to somebody who doesn't have any experience in competing. And if you're 15% body fat, they're like, wow, that's the leanest person I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow. Um, or, you know, even somebody who has competed before or is competing now or will be soon, um, they're a little bit more 
into the world, but also it's like, do they know what's good for 10 weeks out? Those are the questions that I always ask myself here. So um, I'm in that mode right now where every little thing that I hear, I always kind of flip it around in my head and turn it into a negative somehow. So that's like my superpower is I can deflect compliments and say, no, I do not accept that. Instead, you that is bad. So... <laughs> Like it's it's some kind of a disorder. It really is. Um, there hasn't been much, nothing specific that rings out though. So um, I'm hoping that it ramps up here because if it does, it means that things are really looking on point. So fingers crossed. Okay, next steps and changes. What is next? Well, the next the, the next step is to fix this um, and get this resolved. Um, I did hear from my doctor. Um, I got an email from him while I was recording this video because um, I asked him about antibiotics and he said that most pink eye is viral and usually just resolves on its own. So the follow up then is, okay, well, how long am I contagious? I don't know. Um, by the time I edit this, I will know. And so I'll put that in a, uh, an editing note somewhere on screen here. The question is, how many days am I going to miss out of the gym? Um, and at what point am I, do I go from being like hyper responsible to like, well, I'm probably not contagious, so it's good enough. Let's get back in there. Um, because if it's like, well, you should give it 10 days to really clear and just to make sure that you're 100% not contagious, like, I'm not going to do that, right? That's just not practical. It's not realistic. And um, I I'm willing to take reasonable precautionary steps to help other people not have to deal with this, but reasonable. And missing 7 to 10 days in the gym is not reasonable. So, um, so we'll make some determinations on that. You know, I'll wash my hands like a motherfucker, whatever I have to do. So, um, yeah, uh, so the, the first priority is this. Next steps, though, it's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm considering doing another refeed like what I did on Friday this week, maybe close to the end of the week again, maybe adjust the workout split again so I can train the following day. That recipe worked really well. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Um, you know, a refeed is not a fat loss accelerant tool. A refeed is a way to manage fatigue and get a little bit of a boost. If, you're, if your fatigue is being generated by a deficit, by a lack of intake, a refeed can help with that. Um, I might do it a little bit differently where it's more programmed. It's not necessarily a full meal out, but I just take it and I'm gonna be like, hey, let's bring in an extra 200 grams of carbs spread throughout the whole day, something like that. So um, it just kind of depends, I'm not sure. I'm, so I'm leaving that on the, uh, on, on the agenda as something that could happen for this week but we're gonna play it by ear. Like last week, it was just like the fatigue got to the point where it's like, I can barely function right now. And that refeed, um, the free meal really did help. It really did help. So uh, part of me thinks if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If I start to feel that way again, let's just do it again. And maybe it starts to feel that way again before Friday, maybe midweek rolls around and I'm like that. Although with rest days, I'm not really gonna be doing much for at least today, probably tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff up in the air, so I can't really, say for sure what the plan is other than, well, the plan is to wait and see and watch and let things develop. So possible issues ahead for the week. Um, not much. There's a couple of things. I do have a talent show that I have to perform at um, on Thursday morning, which may interfere with a workout. Um, interfere with as in force it to be a little bit later. It's at my wife's school. We're performing a song and I have to go play for it. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. I do have to practice that a few times because I haven't played that song much since I wrote it four years ago. So I um, have to revisit that song, make sure I know how it goes. Um, Saturday, Sunday, I'll probably spend some time doing taxes, um, which will be an interruption but won't impact the bodybuilding routine. So we'll be okay there. So I really see a pretty, a pretty clear week ahead outside of just getting this stupid pink eye garbage resolved. So um, and I'll keep you posted on that. Like I'll have some additional details by the time this video posts and I'll throw those in the edit. So, um, that's about it. So I do feel confident that I'm where I, where I need to be in order to hit the mark for the show. I'm not confident that I'm where I want to be in order to show up and be as competitive as I would like to be. So just full disclosure. And that's not to say it's not going to happen. I'm just saying like, well, I'm not confident in that. So and give it a few more weeks and <laughs> maybe I will grow that confidence. It will just manufacture itself out of thin air or uh, maybe I will still be saying the exact same thing again next week. Who knows? Who knows? So that's what I got. So I appreciate you all hanging out. Um, don't forget, check out um, 5stardigital.com where you can actually, as of right now, you can go and pre-order Bikini Blueprint which is a course that I have built. I will spare you all the details. If you are interested, go check it out. Read all about it there. There is a ton of info on that page. It is awesome. The course launches June 1st. So 
Once again, this has been the 10 week out update. Darren Starr signing out. Thank you all um, for sticking in. I appreciate it. And uh, leave a comment if you will. Um, oh shit. I didn't do Q and a let's do Q and a. I'm just kidding. There weren't any questions this week. So if you have questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll get to those next week. Thank you all. Peace out. Signing off.